Yo guys, what is going on? It is Imvin here, and today what I am bringing to you all is some of the best new Oracalcum and Star Metal farming spots or farming routes in the arenas update here at the end of May. Now, this update, for those of you that weren't aware, have added some brand new nodes for both Oracalcum Ore and Star Metal Ore, as well as reducing the respawn timer to that being the same as the Iron Ore, and they've also reduced the platinum and gold or respawn of the nodes to match the time of the silver so basically all in all if you're farming mining materials or metals you're going to be in for a very big treat now what I'm going to be showing you guys today is some of my favorite I've got about five or six of my top favorite or calcum spots and then towards the end of the video I'm also going to throw in some of my star metal spots and I will obviously explain to you guys as we're going through which ones connect together as well and um, because basically you're going to need both materials as well as iron as well which you can get in all of these locations so jumping straight into it firstly then we are in reek water as you guys can see the settlement for reek water is right here basically up to the right hand side just to the right of where it says stronghold ravine over the top of rackham's hollow if you guys have got this location unlocked we're essentially on top of the rocks above that and luckily for this video as you guys can see this is the first area where the oracle can spawn so i'll get this big vein while i talk to you guys this is a really good location. It's been recently added to the game. All of these spawns up the top here. And there is an abundance of location for these. And yeah, this is probably one of my favourite spots. It's pretty uncontested. I know making this video may increase the contestion a little bit. But it's worth it. This is a really, really good spot. So there's three veins over to the side here. And if I show you guys on the map exactly where I am, I'm on top of the rocks. So your best bet is to go from the settlement straight up to the top here. Kind of northeast of this road. And then straight across the rocks. It looks like it's on top of the settlement and there's no rocks here, but obviously it's covered over the top like most are in this game. You've got a whole bunch there. You've also then got some star metal up the top of the rock right here, which is a nice little addition to this particular section because this is mainly oracalcum. So there's three veins of star metal that can spawn there. Then where I got my first piece, you've got another three down here, which is nice. And these, again, you've got one big one, two small ones, so you can get a decent amount. Then if you head literally straight over west and kind of downwards down the hill a little bit. I'm trying to give you guys some locational uh, advice as well while we're going just because it's a little bit easier to follow. You'll see that there is two there and one down the bottom there where they do spawn. And that one down the bottom is currently here. But I'm going to show you guys the rest of the spawns before I grab that up. Then you've got a couple of spawns that are right here. And from this one directly to the right up towards the top of the hill. You guys can do this little jump up here. And as you will see there is one piece right there which this guy is probably going to go and grab. And another piece to the right of it. And then if we go even further down, there is another spot over here where you'll be able to see a couple more pieces. So three more spawns right there, which can all spawn Oracalcum. Then you also have another couple of spawns, one in the cliff there and these two round just here, which of course you can climb up this way as well should you want to do so. Now this spot links up pretty nicely with heading straight down here towards this rock just above the fast travel point. This has got iron, it's got star metal on and if I bring up New World fans map to show you guys, so this is Reekwater. Big shout out to New World fans if you guys haven't already checked out their map on their website. I will leave it linked in the description of today's video but you guys can see this is where we got the Oracalcum and then if you head down here to this rock there's a bit of star metal, loads of iron ore and then more star metal off to the side so it's a really really good location. Now as a bonus whilst I'm on the map to show you guys as well There is a really nice little bit of oracalcum that you guys can get down here in the ancient zone right down the bottom Now this is again on top of the rocks So don't feel you need to go inside of this area You just go on the rocks to the edge of it and there is quite a lot of spawns down there now as well Which is another really really nice location again not particularly close to fast travel or the town But your best bet is to fast travel out to this way shrine here and then wander down to grab that oracalcum And it's a really really nice spot so the next Next place that we are at here is Ebenskill Reach. Specifically, we are at the Pilgrim's Rest Way Shrine, which is kind of just down from the settlement in the middle of the mountains here. And this one is a super, super good location. Firstly, you've got Oracalcum nodes just up the top of the hill in front of you near the Serenity Monastery. And then across this pathway, if you kind of follow the one that goes to the left and follow it down, all the way around here towards the elite zone area. There is an abundance of star metal which is really really nice. 
and then basically what you're going to want to do is travel all the way around the elite zone all around the bottom edge of it and you're going to find tons of star metal and even more orichalcum than there was before which is absolutely amazing so just to give you guys an idea from the way shrine you want to walk kind of forward through past this wooden archway uh kind of northwest over here to this pathway and what you will start to see is once you get down to this section where I'm wiggling my mouse on screen now which we're going to turn left onto the path in a moment that is where you will be able to get yourself a lot of the star metal so I will briefly show you guys that one and then I'll run around to the elite zone so you guys can see the area that you can get all of the orichalcum as well so if we just head down here you can start to see some of this popping up and it's going to be all the way along this pathway so the first lot is up there which we may as well grab now we're going past but I think this change to the game is really, really good. But do let me know your thoughts and feelings down below in the comments. Do you like that there's more Orichalcum and Star Metal? Or did you prefer it before when it was more scarce? Personally, like I said, I really like this because it opens up a whole plethora of opportunities for crafting and leveling up your trade skills, which I think is an amazing thing. Now, I'm pretty much just above where I got that first node. And as you guys can see, there is a couple more Star Metal up here. And if you look kind of into the distance, you can see some over here. There's some down there just in front of where the mouse is, some over to the right. And that basically continues on a nice little pathway all the way down. If I bring up again the New World fans map to show you guys, you will see that we are about here right now. And this continues all the way down this kind of slalom down to the Elite Zone. And what you can do is follow the path all the way around, grab this one piece here, and then you're going to go all the way around the edge of the Elite Zone to grab all of these Orichalcum veins here as well as the Star Metal ones, which is actually a pretty nice route as well as if you wanted to actually do the Elite Zone, you can get these on your way around, which again is a really, really good one to be getting on with because it's got some great, great loot. Now, the next place that we are looking at here is just on the left outpost, the Cleves Point outpost in Great Cleave. And of course, it is the Mangled Heights run. As a lot of you guys will already be aware, the Orichalcum spawns around here are fantastic. Now they have additional nodes added to them and they have a faster respawn time. So this is a really, really good location. But what they've also done now is added a ton of star metal spawns around this area too again for this one i'm going to show you on the new world fans map so if we head over to great cleave and cleaves point specifically you guys will be able to see that on the way up to the first bit of the corrupted elite area here there is a ton of star metal then we move on to a bit of ori a bit more ori and then all the way into the middle there is a ton of orichalcum it's a really really good little run if you can get a group together for this now as well what you will see is all the way if you go up this north road there's a lot of star metal if you go very close to the outpost itself, there is a load here just on the hill, which is very easy to get. Same as this one, just into the zone here. Also, if you follow it down and kind of grab all of this stuff and all of this stuff, it's all very close by and very easy to get. And if we have a look at Great Cleave at a little bit of a bigger distance, you can see there's quite a lot of easily accessible star metal in this zone. So this is another really, really fantastic area with the new Orichalcum and star metal routes. Now, this next one, guys, is going to be over in Eden's Grove, and we're actually they're going to be looking at the Blighted Rise location, but for this, you're probably going to want to travel to the East Burn Outpost. That is because if you do travel to any of the fast travel points, you've got quite a distance to run as it's actually up between some mountains, so the easiest way into this is up through the bite and then over to the side. But as you guys will see, this is probably the same on your servers right now. Everybody is doing the PvP quest to try and level up their PvP track as one of the fastest ways to do this is by spamming the quests. So there is hundreds of players up at this area so do be cautious if you are trying to obviously do this PvP flagged. If you do want to get some XP on the way and try and get into some battles you're certainly going to see that happening because... Yeah, as you guys can see, it's pretty hectic, but essentially what you're going to want to do is head north and then head east up the top road, not up the big road here, just up the top road, and we're going to want to get to around this area over here near the bile dust and around the blighted rise, which I'll catch you guys back up with once I get there. So once you guys get to the edge of Eden's Grove here, you guys will see I'm kind of on this, the bit that sticks up just to the left of the bile dust around here is where you will first need to be to see it, and you kind of come in above where the oracle can match these spawns. If I jump down here, here, you guys will be able to see where these spawns should be. Of course, people have taken them right now. But the first couple are just here. And then essentially what you will want to do is just work your way around the mountain. Obviously, you can see this one has respawned just now and it's right there. And yeah, they're kind of all around this section here. If you follow this around the edge of 
kind of this bile dust tree area, then you'll be able to get quite a decent amount of oracalcum. There is a lot of nerds. I'll just grab this all whilst I speak to you guys. And this is going to be basically a semicircle around here. It's fairly quick to run to from the outpost. That's the definitely the best way I've tried it from the fast shell points as well. It's much slower because you've got to go all the way around the mountain. So this is much better. You're already at the top. You're already ready to go. And of course, you can pick up PvP quests if you dare uh, from this outpost as well and do that on your way here. There's a lot of spawns, so there's probably going to be a lot of people camping this area. But if you get a quiet time or you get a time where they've just respawned, then you can get a nice, decent amount. To show you guys again on the New World fans map, you guys can see this is where we just were. This is where the bile dust tree is. And if we kind of bring it all the way around here, you can see there's a big semicircle of Oracalcum nodes, a few star metal ones, and then a couple more Oracalcum nodes just up to the top here, which makes this a really nice little run that you can do once every 10 minutes. Spawning down here, run up, grab these, and then run back. And it's a very, very nice one to do. Great little section. Not too many people have been contesting this so far, but you know, the risk of making this video, there could be more people on this. But if you get a nice run of this, you can get a lot of Oracalcum in one big sweep. So it's a really, really good spot. Now, finally, I just want to show you guys Shattered Mountains. Again, I'm just going to use the New World fans map for this last section of the video for the most part. So a big shout out to those guys. Again, I will leave their map linked in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. Very useful tool to be able to have up on a second screen or to tab out to or something. But essentially, all of the elite zones in this area were already very, very stacked on Oracalcum. Now, after the update with additional nodes added and the respawn timers buffed, this is even more so the case. As you guys will be able to see, the mines is absolutely stacked beyond belief for these. You will need a group to be able to clear this efficiently and be able to grab all of these nodes. But with the respawn time, this is absolutely nuts. However, it has been fairly contested. All around the town, there's a nice lot of star metal veins that you can get right next to the mountain home outpost. And then in the mining section, across the center of the section here, is a ton more of these mining things. But there is a lot of kind of corrupted mobs in there. So you will need, again, a group to be able to clear this effectively. And then finally, up in Merkgaard, which now we've got more incentive to go to for the Tempest Heart. This, again, has been buffed hugely with this update, but again, you will need a group to cover these. So maybe this is slightly less good solo, but it's fantastic in a group because there's nowhere that has quite so many as the mines in terms of close succession pure oracalcum ore with the buff respawn time it is absolutely crazy now what i also wanted to finish off this video doing is giving you guys some of my star metal roots so of course things if like if we go down here to cutlass keys this bad boy is still an absolute banger if you had silver and gold on as well what you would do is start up this top path where i'm wiggling the mouse here loads of silver and gold on this way down go into the star metal cave work your way back up grab the silver and gold down here then you're onto iron you're onto iron and you go around the side all of this iron all of the star metal here and then all of the iron towards the town it's a nice little loop 15 to 20 minute timer on all of that and you'll be able to just continuously run it round and get a ton of that should you need it very much less contested after this update as well which is really really good the next location that is really really great for me has been morningdale around the town essentially you've got a couple of bits of oracle conveyance around here so you can still stock up on a little bit of that but you'll see out to the east out to the west there is a ton of iron and then there is a ton of star metal respectively but particularly on the east side, if you go up or down a little bit, you've got a ton more star metal and iron on either side. And even a little bit of oracle come down towards the bottom southeastern point here. And then if you go a little bit to the west, northwest, you've got a bit more star metal there. So doing loops of the town here has been a really successful place. Again, far less contested than some of the other areas with high oracle areas. And finally, I just wanted to give a honourable mention to the trusty Brightwood. This is a fantastic location. If you guys go east from the town here, you will see a ton of star metal, a ton of star metal, and even more star metal. There is absolutely loads over the east side of Brightwood, a little bit to the south on this hill, which you will know has a lot of wordwood trees down here as well. And then over to the west, you've got a ton of iron and a ton more star metal. If you guys put the gold and silver in this as well, there's going to be even more to collect. And there is a little bit of oracalcum just to the north. So it's a really, really good spot. Now, obviously, every server after this update will be slightly different. But what you guys will notice is probably a lot of people trying to sell you oracalcum in the chat because the prices have dropped quite dramatically if we go and have a look at oracalcum ore here on the old trading post it was up to like maybe three or four gold per piece which was ridiculous 
Now you can see the 600 up there for 0.71, which the next cheapest after that is actually 1.7. So this is crazy, crazy low and will continue to drop very quickly. So don't overpay for this right now. It is worth going out and farm and it's very, very easy to get. And if you really don't want to farm or don't have the time, just give it a couple of days. You'll find steals like this popping up all of the time right now because people are trying to undercut and sell while they can. So you're going to be able to get your hands on this very, very nicely. You can make yourself some good money as well. A lot of people are kind of sleeping on the star metal ore and are actually got a lot of orichalcum now but not so much on the star metal side so if you do have a lot of this you'll see this is actually selling for averagely more than the orichalcum at least on my server and most of the eu servers so you might be able to pick up some of the slack there and be able to sell this as well and don't forget about turning it into ingots you will be able to get your hands on some more of the trade skill aptitude caches from the smelting which the third tier one so the one two and three back up to the top is the only way right now that you can get your hands on the smelting gear set which is of course the best way to increase your chances at getting additional asmodium with your daily crafts so it's a pretty sought after piece and even if you already have these they are selling for quite a lot on every single server so it's going to be worth doing so hopefully this video has helped a lot of you guys out with some new routes and ideas and also kind of explaining what's happened with the respawn times and such if you have enjoyed please do be sure to drop me a like and a subscribe down below both of those things hugely help support me and my content here on youtube so i'd really really appreciate it it and do drop me a comment about what you think about this as well because again the algorithm loves a comment but other than that that's going to be it for today's video guys so i would like to thank you for watching thank you for your time and i will catch you again very very shortly on a brand new upload take care and peace